An independent looking to run against Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton and Libertarian Ricky Dale Harrington Jr. is suspending his campaign. Thanks for joining us for your 5 News at 6. I'm Erica Thomas. And I'm Darren Bob. 5 News reporter Catherine Gilker tells us how this candidate's attempt to get on the ballot this November got hung up in the courtroom. Arkansas Independent Dan Whitfield says he hoped to run against incumbent U.S. Senator Tom Cotton and Libertarian Ricky Dale Harrington Jr. in November. He says the COVID-19 outbreak and social distance guidelines hurt his chances of meeting his May 1st deadline to get 10,000 signatures and was denied an extension to get his name on the ballot. Unfortunately, we were forced to suspend our campaign because the attorney general was successful in pushing back our court hearing for ballot access past the date of the election. We were hoping to get into September oral arguments. We reached out to Arkansas Attorney General Leslie Rutledge for comment. Her office released the following statement. The plaintiff filed his appeal to the Eighth Circuit on June 29th, after which it is at the discretion of the court to determine when a case will be heard. Incumbent Senator Tom Cotton and Libertarian candidate Ricky Dale Harrington Jr. will be the only names you see on the ballot for this U.S. Senate race. Harrington says he believes that ballot access laws keep third-party candidates off the ballot. We need to start engaging our state legislature and keep them from passing laws that limit the voice of our candidates. So it starts off with the original law. Uh, which we fought for. Otherwise, Mr. Whitfield would have had to get 27,000 signatures. Whitfield says he is not dropping the case for ballot access. I've decided I am going to continue running for office again, whether that's against Attorney General Leslie Rutledge for governor or whether it's against Senator John Bozeman for U.S. Senate. We're just getting started. We have a lot of corruption and cleaning up to do here in Arkansas. Covering news where you live, Katherine Gilker, 5 News. We also reached out to Senator Tom Cotton for comment on the story. He did not address it specifically, but his office did release a statement says Tom Cotton is working hard to win the votes of Arkansans for his reelection by confirming Judge Amy Coney Barrett to the Supreme Court, working to lower prescription drug costs and protecting the unborn.